If you have yet to find your personal style, that means that you might be following trends or following aesthetics that are gonna cost you three things, mental effort, money, and time. So I have written a basic, very simple, how to find your personal style without spending a ton of money kind of guide. Number one is to focus on one journey at a time. I have found that I am attracted to certain type of things and I have just been chasing those things versus new things. So that means that I have looked in my closet and be like, all right, I love a lot of really strappy sandals. I love a square toe shoe and I love boots, like short boots and tall boots. I noticed that I don't love all of them, but I like something really sleek and that's gonna make my legs look longer. And I have spent time focusing on those. As I've been developing my personal style, I could definitely go look in my closet and be like, ooh, that wasn't me, that wasn't me, that wasn't me. It was very much like I have been picking up things that were influenced by other people versus influenced by who I was. And I now look into my closet to get really excited about what I see because I have chased what it means to be me, not what it needs to be influenced by someone else. That means focusing on one journey at a time. If you have noticed that you're like, oh, I am really into chunky tennis shoes. Find ways to incorporate more chunky tennis shoes into your outfits. Focusing on one thing at a time versus trying everything all at once. Which also means that the next thing you need to do is actually look at what you own. If you have ever found yourself wearing the same thing over and over again, that might mean that that outfit is very you. It might be like a very personal identifier to you. I have found that I've been wearing a lot of same formulas over and over again. So that means that I needed to find formulas that work for me. I found that there are certain outfit combinations that I wore on repeat. And for me, that was many dresses and tall boots, jeans and short boots and t-shirts, and a lot of wide leg trousers. And I have found ways to incorporate more of that into my daily wardrobe and style that exact aesthetic on a regular basis, which also meant that I wasn't trying combinations that I wasn't a huge fan of. I wasn't wearing things that weren't really fitting me. Like maxi dresses are beautiful, but every time I wear them, I don't feel very confident in them. Or super baby crop tops, so cute on like so many people. I am not one of them, but I see them all over my For You page. I had to kind of ignore that noise to be like, that looks great on them. It doesn't exactly look good on me. So I have just been finding formulas and spending more time with what I already own to wear things that I'm really excited about. Next is take your time. This is actually uh, inspired by Cal Newport's book on productivity. His Cal Newport has three tips on how to be more productive at a reasonable pace. Take your time, do less things, focus on quality. That should be something that you need to obsess over when it comes to your personal style. Do less things, try less things. I highly recommend looking into rental service or thrifting. Do not buy a bunch of things that don't actually fit your style, if that makes sense. And really obsess over quality. The things in your closet that very much scream, insert your name here, spend majority of your effort and money on those things. Do less, do better. That also means that you're gonna have a closet full of things that you really love and you feel confident in that you've invested more money in and it's going to be way more chic, way more polished. If you're like me, you're gonna get things tailored. That means that when you open your closet, you're gonna be way more excited about finding what works for you. But also, that brings me to my next point, Embrace the seasons of your life. Just because this works for you now does not mean it's gonna work for you forever. You're gonna go through seasons of life. Work at a seasonal pace. This is something that I feel like Princess Diana is a perfect example of this, where she was very royal. She was very playful and young in the beginning. She went from being that to a very elegant woman who presented very well representing the royal family. But then she became the ultimate icon for off-duty style. She went through several different seasons of her life, which were represented by what she was wearing, which is, by the way, amazingly chic. I love it so much. Um, right now, I've been really inspired by really kind of nerdy things, so very chunky knits, a lot of collared shirts, but that also means that I have embraced the seasonality of my life where I'm becoming a little bit more myself, 
versus trying to be someone I'm not. I rejected the idea of trying to be sexy <laughs> in my later years, like wearing a lot less short skirts and everything. If you find yourself obsessing over certain outfits, that means that you might be entering a season of your life. If you're like, I would never wear this five years ago, but I'm wearing it every day now, embrace that seasonality. It's a really great thing. You don't have to be who you were when you were younger. So embrace the seasons of your life and don't be so strict with your personal style that you aren't changing. If you were someone like, well, these were the things that inspired me when I was younger and now I can't try new things. You want to say, this is who I am, but I'm flexible with it. This is what I like wearing, but I'm gonna try new things. Give yourself a little bit of flexibility and definitely embrace the season in your life. Next is to be like Birkin. There's something I love about Jane Birkin is that if you look up photos of her, there's a really good chance. She's in her younger years, so mid 80s and before. There is one thing that she has on her hands at pretty much all time, which is a basket bag. She even wore it in some of her movies like La Piscine, I don't speak French, but I love that because she found an accessory and made it her own and incorporated it into everything. She wore it to black tie events. She got kicked out of restaurants because she brought that bag. She wouldn't care. It was very identifiable to her. And I know she's very associated with the Birkin bag. When you see photos of Jane Birkin with the actual Birkin Hermes bag, she had it covered in accessories and things that weren't really how people treat Birkins nowadays, but it's very identifiable to her. If you are someone who has accessories that you constantly go to, for me, that's like pearl rings and some like gold accessories that are actually kind of bold and also being very into necklaces, even though necklaces are not really super trendy right now, like liking pendants, which is deemed an old person thing. If you see me showing any of my neck, there's a pendant under there. Go into the things that are not trendy that are non-style that you still love wearing. There's something very chic about not following what is hot right now. And that's what I mean by follow Jane Birkin in the aspect that she said, I do not care if this is not super high fashion. I do not care if this is going to be worn on the red carpet. This is the most me thing on the planet. And that was a very true indicator of personal style. Last is to remember that there will always be trends. There will always be new trends. There's always going to be something new. There's always going to be more work to do. There's always going to be new things to try. There's always going to be new trending clothing and there's always going to be new aesthetics to follow. But stop following trends because it's going to lead you nowhere. Find what works for you and dive into it. I know that I have made a whole video on personal style and didn't mention one thing that I recommend buying. I recommend buying what you like. I recommend trying new things that really work for you or get you excited. And I recommend rejecting the things that don't get you excited. That's the thing about fashion nowadays, and especially social media. You're chasing everything. You're chasing the newest thing at all time. You're chasing the next Instagram photo. If you want some really good examples of personal style, I mentioned Princess Diana and Jade Birkin, both beautiful women. I also recommend looking into Bianca Jagger, who is not only a fashion icon, but just a really cool human, like as is. I also recommend looking into Grace Jones. I recommend looking into Carolyn Bissett Kennedy. I have been obsessed with women with very strict personal style guidelines that have also taken on trends and clothing that wasn't really on brand. Someone who I, a modern version of this, who is really good at taking risks and trying new things, in my opinion, is Zendaya. I have been obsessed with her forever. I think she is fantastic, and I think she's a fantastic example of what it means to... If I can close with one thing is to be a little weird, be a little different. The people who are the most stylish are the people who are not trying to be like everyone else. And that's the story. Don't be like everyone else.